Deep cuts in state aid to local schools, raising concerns about just what this might cost in both jobs and taxpayer money. The new governor addressing this crisis on his first day on the job. News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis has more from Hartford. This ta first time ever coalition joined together because of our concerns over an, an urgent issue. We are about to go over a cliff. Nearly 3,000 public school teacher jobs have been lost in the past two years because of budget restraints. And it is estimated that at least that many more will be lost in the next two if the over half billion dollars in federal stimulus aid that cities and towns received is not replaced. The coalition of school superintendents and boards of ed say it amounts to 14 percent of school budgets statewide and without it art classes, after school athletics, and a lot more will have to go. In fact, some town school representatives said today the coalition's warning isn't dire enough. We're beyond talking about after school programming and art and music and PE. We've already cut those to the so bare It's a lot worse than they're saying. It absolutely is, especially in urban areas. For us, we're talking about bumping up class sizes to 30 plus and cutting into science programming, social studies programming, and other core curricular areas. And some said cutbacks in the smaller towns will be just as bad upwards of 25 teachers, 25 very talented, education, uh, well-educated, master degree teachers. At his first news conference today, Governor Daniel Malloy said he hears the message, and his goal is to fill that 14 percent gap if he can. It is my desire to do that, to, to, to hold communities harmless of that loss. Um, that's, that's a goal that I have uh, in um, uh, preparing a budget to send to the legislature. We send 32 cents out of every tax dollar at Hartford, and we're getting back 8 cents. Now we're going to get back less than that. My town can't absorb that any longer. This coalition of school leaders from across the state has put together a website that will explain to you the kind of dire consequences that could happen in your town if they don't find this money. You can find it by coming to our website, WTNH.com, and clicking on this story. From the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.